Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this WooCommerce tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create shipping zones based on zip codes. The good news is I'm gonna show you how to pull all this off without using any plugins at all. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can charge a delivery fee if you live within a five mile radius of a specific zip code, and then let's charge a different rate if someone is uh, within a 10 mile radius. So let's just jump right into the tutorial. So the very first thing you're gonna need is the zip code of your business. So let's say you're running a restaurant or something and you wanna offer delivery for, you know, like I said, people within a five mile radius or 10 mile radius. We need to get the zip code of your business. So in this use case, let's just say we are in the uh, center city of Philadelphia. So as you can see, this is right in the middle of the city. So I wanted to show how many different zip codes there are within this like radius. And so what we need to do is just go right here and you can see the zip code for this is uh, 19107. So that's the zip code I'm gonna be using and then we're just gonna spread out from there. The first thing you need to do is head over into this website right here. Uh, this is a very useful website. What it's gonna do is you put in the zip code right down here and then it's gonna give you all of the zip codes within a mile radius. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna put in 19107. And right here, you can see they have a setting for miles. So since I'm in the US, I'm just gonna put five here for five miles. And once you click draw radius, it's gonna draw all of the different zip codes within here. So each one of these markers is its own zip code. So this is really uh, useful because what they do is they kick out uh, more information down here. And as you can see, here are your zip codes within a five mile radius of that um, zip code you put in. Uh, another really cool thing is if you're right on a border, so right here, you can see this is Pennsylvania, and right on the other side of that bridge is New Jersey. So you can see right here, if you have a situation where you want to turn off a specific state, you can do that right here as well. But let's just keep all this on for now. What I recommend is you click this button right here, it says copy to clipboard, and we're gonna need to input this into WooCommerce. Now that you have those in your clipboard, we do need to do one extra step uh, before we can input it into WooCommerce. And what we need to do is just paste it here on the left side on this website, and this is gonna convert it from comma separated into a list column. So for some reason, WooCommerce wants them listed like this. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure all of your zip codes are in a list mode, not in commas. So as you can see, when you do that, it automatically copies this list into your clipboard. So now that you have your zip codes uh, in a list mode in your clipboard, we are ready to import that into WooCommerce finally. So if you go into your WooCommerce, I'm under these settings, and you're gonna to wanna to go to the shipping and make sure you're in shipping zone. So what we need to do is of course click shipping zone. And in this case, let's just call the zone uh, something like um, five miles, because this is all within five miles. And you're gonna wanna make sure that this is left blank right here. In this button where it says limit to specific zip or postcodes, you're gonna wanna paste in your zip codes right here. So as you can see, these are all the zip codes within a five mile radius. So we can go ahead, hit, just hit save. And then what we need to do is click this button right here, it says shipping, add shipping method. Let's just do a flat rate and click this button where it says edit and just change the cost to something like five bucks. So if they're within five miles, the shipping should be $5. So let's go ahead and choose a zip code as like a test to make sure everything's working. So if I go ahead, just copy that one and let's go to our checkout and make sure everything's working. And here we are in a simple checkout right here and let's go ahead and paste in the zip code right here underneath your billing address. And when you do that, you should have it automatically update right here. So as you can see, we do have a flat rate of $5. Now let's go ahead and enter in a zip code that's not within that radius. And you're gonna see, um, I have one called flat rate of $50. And so the way it works inside WooCommerce is anything underneath your shipping zones, uh, if it doesn't match any of these zip codes, there's always like this fallback right here. And so I just have it where location is not covered by other zones. I just have like a flat rate of 50 bucks right here. So that's how you can go ahead and make sure that everything's in there correctly. Uh, one step you may need to do is underneath your payments. Uh, if you go underneath the payment that we're receiving, so in this case we have cash on delivery, and you can enable that shipping zone right here. So if for some reason it's not working correctly, you can go ahead and just enable for shipping methods and just make sure it's inside here. So let's go ahead and just do the same exact thing but within a 10 mile radius this time. So now if we head back over into this tool where we got the five mile radius, what we can do is go ahead and enter in 10 here. But before we do that, what I recommend is if you go underneath where it says combined, this list right here is showing you all the zip codes and then this is all the data they show you is 
you know, what city, time zone, and distance. So if you scroll down here, you can see this very last uh, number right here is distance. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see this very bottom code is exactly five miles. And what I recommend is just go ahead and copy this to your clipboard because this is going to be like the cutoff between your five mile radius and your 10 mile radius. So let me go ahead up here and let's put 10 in this time. So if I hit 10, hit search, as you can see, it grew quite a bit. And now we're going to have all these different zip codes right here. So if we just go and do a search on this page for that zip code I just copied, you can see right here, this where my mouse is, this is where the five miles is getting cut off. So everything highlighted right here is five miles. Everything from here down is five miles to 10 miles. So what we can do is of course, just copy that and head back over into this other website right here, paste it back in here. And there you go. We now have these zip codes are within five miles to 10 miles. So let's go ahead and do the same process and get this all set up. And just like the other one, let's go underneath shipping and say add shipping zone. This time we're going to do 10 miles. So 10 miles, leave that blank, paste that in there, hit save, shipping zone, flat rate. Make sure we edit this. And let's make it where it's like 10 bucks. This is just real easy. So um, that's all good. Once you do that, it's saved. Let's go ahead and just do a test and try this zip code right here. And let's try it on this page now. So now when I put this into the checkout form, this should update to 10 bucks right down here. Yep. So you can see right here, it shows $10. So as you can see, um, you might get this error message if you don't add that to your payments. So like I said, you're going to probably need to go underneath your payments here. And in this case, like I said, I'm just doing cash on delivery for this example, and we're going to want to add 10 miles. So you just need to add that in here. And now if we go and hit refresh, it's now that payment delivery with a $10 charge. And let's go back to our original zip code. Just make sure this should be $5 now. So if I scroll down, that is the original zip code I put in. So five bucks. And that's it for this WooCommerce tutorial. Uh, what I do recommend is going ahead and bookmarking these two websites and I'll leave a link in the description below for the, both of these URLs. I highly recommend you bookmark these things because this is going to be very useful for your WooCommerce website. Make sure that you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new WooCommerce tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.